unconscious casualty. Sue? Sue? Hello? Sue? Hello? Help! I need some help down here! Sue? Sue, can you hear me? Oh, what's wrong with her? Thank God you're here. I'm not even sure she's breathing. Should we get an ambulance? Amanda's a first aider. I'll just go and get her. Sue? Sue, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? Sue? Sue? I had them. what's happened? She's out like a light. Should I call 999? No, not yet. Let me just um, take it step by step. Right, can you just move over that way a minute, please? Can you please go and get a dustpan and brush to clear up the glass? Yeah. And Scott, could you go and get the first aid kit yeah. on, please? Thank you. Sue? Sue, Sue, can you open your eyes if you can hear me, please? Please open your eyes. There you go. Thank you. Scott, possibly could you go and get a blanket as well? Yeah. Thank you. Helen, you see what happened? I just came in and found her like this. Do you know if she's on um, any medication? No idea. Okay. Right. Can you just wait there a minute, please? Because I'll, uh, A, I want you to uh, act as a witness if I find anything on her, and I'll need you to film for an ambulance. But not yet, okay? Gloves on. Right, Sue, I'm going to do a top-to-toe survey on you to see if you've got any injuries. Check your head. Don't worry if you can feel me touching anything. You'll be fine. When checking for injuries, wear gloves to protect yourself Check and the casualty head. from the risk of cross-infection. Check, Check the yeah. casualty from top to toe. Your eyes. Firstly, making sure that the nose and mouth are clear. Look inside your ears. They're fine. Doctor, thank you. Would you like it? Can you just leave it there for me, please, Scott? And thank yes. you. Um, everything. I don't need you anymore. Okay. Thank you. Loosen clothing around the neck and look for any medical advice medallions. Look for any signs of injury on the chest and shoulders. Right, I'm going to go down your chest. Don't worry, I'm just making sure you haven't broken anything. And I was going to check your ribs. You can feel anything. Open your eyes. Press down on your abdomen. Don't worry. But if you can hear me, please open your eyes. It's going to go underneath your back. Without moving the casualty, check as much of the spine as possible. Really good. Don't worry, we're nearly done. I'm going to recheck your breathing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's fine just to give you a pulse to check. The pulse is checked only for monitoring purposes. Changes in its rate and strength could determine whether the casualty is recovering or deteriorating. The information could be invaluable to the emergency services. Just going to check your arms. That's looking good. Are you still all right there, Helen? Helen, you all right? Yeah, I'm nearly done. And then I'll get you to uh, phone for an ambulance for me. So we're nearly done, and then we'll start getting the uh, medical services here. Okay, nearly done. Just going to check your legs now. If you feel anything again, please do open your eyes. Finally, move down the legs from the thighs, looking for bruising, swelling, deformities or bleeding. All the way down. You can hear me. Straighten your leg out. In the recovery position. Remember that the pulse is checked for monitoring purposes only. That's good. Let's recheck your breathing for 10 seconds. Ten. Well done. 
Helen, can you please go and phone the emergency services, tell them that we need an ambulance, tell them our address, the phone number, speak calmly and slowly, tell them that we have an unconscious female, early 20s, but she is unconscious, but she is breathing with no apparent injuries, and can you please come back and tell me how long it's going to be? OK, sure. Thank you. Right. So, look, we're going to now place you into the recovery position. Barbara, I think I'm done here, Do you want to go and get yourself a cup of tea? Yeah. Okay, yeah, then. thank you for, for, right. for your help. Okay. All right. Sue, come on. Sue, open your eyes. Yeah, the ambulance is going to be here soon. The ambulance is on his way. Right, okay, brilliant. Is there going to be somebody outside to meet it? Yep. Brilliant, thank you. While the first aider waits for the paramedics to arrive, Let's recap on the procedures to follow in a situation like this. Always ensure that it's safe for you to approach a casualty before attempting to carry out any treatment. Right, can you just move over that way a minute, please? Can you please go and get a dustpan and brush to clear up the glass? Your safety comes first, so never put yourself in any danger. Check first for unconsciousness by trying to obtain a response. Please open your eyes. Then ensure that the airway is open and that the casualty is breathing normally. Find out if anyone saw the incident and ask what happened. It may help you to make an assessment of the casualty's condition. Be calm and confident and don't allow yourself to become isolated. You'll need to stay with the casualty and give undivided attention, so get those around you to help out by bringing you anything you might need. When checking for injuries, wear gloves to protect yourself and the casualty from the risk of cross-infection. Check the casualty from top to toe. Right, Helen, can you please go and call the emergency services? Only contact the emergency services after you've established the extent of the injury. Tell them that we have an unconscious female, early 20s. And make sure that all relevant information is given. Thank you. So we're going to now place you into the recovery position. All unconscious casualties must be put into the recovery position. But extreme care must be taken if you suspect that your casualty has a spinal injury. Speak to your trainer to find out the correct method. Keep the casualty warm and under constant supervision, continually checking for breathing and communication until the emergency services take over. You are on your own with a casualty who is unconscious and breathing normally with no apparent injuries. At what stage should you go and fetch medical help? Is it A, after checking for a response, B, after checking for breathing, C, immediately, or D, after placing them in the recovery position? Again, pause the video and what do you think is the correct response? You're on your own with a casualty who is unconscious and breathing normally with no apparent injuries. At what stage should you go and fetch medical help? After placing them in the recovery position. When making a diagnosis on your casualty's condition, how is a symptom best described? A. Something you can see. B. A description of how the incident happened. C. Something the casualty feels. Or D. A medical warning bracelet or pendant. Again, pause the video. When making a diagnosis on the casualty's condition, how is the symptom best described? Something you can see, something they feel, a description of how the incident happened, or a medical warning based on the pandemic. Something that can interactive exercise.
Now with this, um, there really is something you, you can't do um, unless you pause the video. And uh, I give you the answers as we go along. So the first one, um, when considering any casualties condition, i.e. history, signs and symptoms, you will be making a what? So again, have a think about that. You will be making a diagnosis. The next one, when you make a telephone call to the emergency services, what man's name should you remember in respect of giving information? Uh, can you remember that for the first couple of slides? The person's name is Lionel. Location, incident, other services, etc. And maintaining a what is critical in ensuring your casualty continues to breathe. So maintaining an airway. The next one, when you first arrive on the scene of an accident, there are a number of considerations you should make. What mnemonic will help you? And the answer is... Ah, see I made a mistake. So I should have gone with... Step up. Stop traffic environment. The other mnemonic is useful to remember when checking the response level of your casualty. And this is... Avpu. Alert, responsive voice, responses to pain.